We come to find out the real reason why Soma was doing so bad in last week's episode. I guessed half of it correct. Like, you know in last week's episode when I was Fury Crafting, most likely Soma's entire customers in his business was being stolen from Arena because she was doing so well with her food and she was right next to him? Remember how I mentioned that? Well, I guessed half of it correct. Like, I guessed half of the problem correct and the other half didn't cross my mind because like I said I'm not a chef so I, I didn't really remember that type of shit but when I started actually seeing the details in this episode and the information was given to me I'm like oh shit so to see how Soma he chose a dish and gave himself a handicap like he didn't willingly give himself a handicap Soma chose a dish that needs to be served to the customer soon as it is made and if you let's say let this dish sit around maybe let's say like five minutes the dish is just gonna fucking sink in and it's gonna look nasty as fuck and when people look at the dish they're gonna be like I don't wanna get that shit you know that's how majority of people look like I mean if you were to look for a buffet okay I know I would do it I used to do it when I used to go to Golden Corral all the time when you go for a buffet and you're looking at the different dishes and you know the different sections to get up from a buffet and you see this dish it's like crushed down and shit and even you see this appetizing turkey or I guess salad or whatever just right next to whatever you like to eat and you see it right next to this crushed down food you would be like I don't want that shit you know you know, that's what your reaction's gonna be, and that makes so much damn sense when you think about it. So, compliments to Food Wars for keeping it realistic. So, the live cooking. That is something that I really want to talk about, because I was mesmerized by that scene, because I, I've heard about live cooking. I've never personally been in a restaurant or anything that has live cooking I've never actually got to experience that myself but I've heard about it and I've seen it in some cases through different you know channels and stuff when I used to have TV browsing through different channels and I did see live cooking once before and to see how Soma actually used live cooking to his advantage I like that I, I really like that because it was like he was putting on a magic show. That's what we could really see from that. Because when you see how Soma was just sitting there cooking, he was flipping the eggs up and they were landing back down. He's putting all the seasonings down, tasting the food. The way he was, you know, putting the eggs and, you know, stirring them. Just the way he did that, it looked like he was a magician. And I, I love that because everybody was looking at him and they were just mesmerized like, Oh my god, this dude is so loving. 200 servings by itself doing this giant ass workload going so damn fast and like some customers were even saying he looked like a blur because he was moving so fucking fast and it just goes to show you how much effort and workload that took just for Soma to be able to pull off 200 dishes in 30 damn minutes that is an impressive feat yeah I, I think any chef could possibly agree with me like that's an impressive feat just to serve 200 damn dishes in 30 minutes and have that type of choice when it comes to a dish. That is an impressive, impressive feat that Soma did by itself. And I respect that quite a bit, just getting to see how live cooking was done in this. Like, you know, how he looked like a magician. It just looks so cool. Soma the Magician. Like, uh, let, let's make it official. Soma the Magician. Just sitting there live cooking magician. But we, we get introduced to something, like or a character introduction in this episode, which she was introduced in last week's episode, but we get more introduction with her and characterization. We get introduced to Arena's cousin, Alice. So Alice as a character, first impressions now after seeing her, she's a, she has a sweet personality in certain ways, but in others she has a rotten personality. Like there, there's two different sides to her. For one, she reminds me a lot of Arena. She really does. Alice reminds me a lot of Arena. She has that stuck-up personality to where she feels like she's better than others. That I could see that already in her character. And so it seems like Arena's family is very stuck-up when it comes to their food, dishes, and them being a chef. They're very stuck-up, and they look down at everybody else. And to see how she lo was looking down at Soma, and Soma, you know, accepted. Like, he didn't give a shit that he's put down. I actually respect that quite a bit. So, I mean, this episode of Food Wars, the introduction of Alice's character, I like that quite a bit. I do like, you know, how Arena got shut up because of Soma actually coming through and winning at the last second. And when he added to where all the chefs that were actually watching this entire uh, event, they were like, oh my god, this dude just accomplished something that was crazy. And it's like he's a diamond in the rough. So, that just goes to show you how good Soma is as a chef. And one way to tie up this episode and this review, I like the ending segment that actually, like, has self-reflecting of Soma. 
Soma self-reflects about the beginning of the series. As we know, when the first episode began, Soma was forced to go to a cooking school. And he didn't really want to go to the cooking school because he's like, why would I want to go pay to go to a cooking school? That sounds like a bunch of bullshit. I mean, that's what he thought. And he comes to find out through his journey of these 14 episodes that it's been very fun and he actually has grown as a chef a lot more than his starting point. And he actually looks at himself and he's like, I'm actually starting to have fun. And so... I like that self-reflecting. I like the way they ended the first half of Food Wars with something like that. That's very admirable. And so tell me your thoughts. How do you feel about this week's episode of Food Wars? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.